running for about nine years now, since I was about 11. I did heptathlon. I started off 400 metres first. My uncle inspired me a lot because I used to watch him on TV all the time and like the atmosphere and like everyone cheering and clapping and watching him win the Olympics was like a real big thing to me. So when I got to the age of like 11, I decided that you know, I wanted to run. I was a bit of a tomboy anyway, so I love sports. But running, I thought oh, I was in my genes. My dad was fast, actually faster than my uncle. I had, to, I knew I had it in me anyway to run because I used to run all the time, like race up and down the streets with brothers. And I started doing um, like uh, long distance first. Um, even though I should have gone straight into sprinting because I'm a natural sprinter. I'm the Middlesex champion and I just won the South of England. No, I didn't win the South of England. I came third in South of England about three weeks ago. I had like two weeks training before I went into that competition. It happened over two days. So, like, first day I was like sixth and then I was fourth and then the next day I, I was third. So, it was like a big achievement for my first time. I go warm up for training once a year. Um, I go to Portugal and I was supposed to go to LA last year. Honestly, this club, this club, this sport, this track is probably one, one of the least um, tracks who have money. There's um, clubs out there, like in South London as well, who have, um, like Belgrave, I think it is, they pay some of their athletes to run. Even if it's like £25 a race, like it's still something at the end of the day. So, because they're at a certain level as well. It's, I suppose it depends like what league you're in and like, what division you're in. So, like, but they pay the athletes anyway to run. I took part in um, a scheme which Liverpool Christie and Darren Campbell set up. It's called Street Athletics and it's basically getting raw talent from the streets. Like they went to every borough like London and like, like everyone from every borough in London. They went to Manchester, they went to Birmingham and like everywhere in like in the UK and just to search for raw talent. And it's basically um, to find people who aren't athletes and get them to race and like the the winners like get to go to Paris and get sponsored by Reebok and stuff like that. So it's basically to let them know that that you do get something out of, you know, running and like, you know, and dedicate something. Everyone who runs wants to be in the Olympics, and so that's my main goal. But obviously I can't go out drinking all the time, like, probably like, once in the blue moon, I can go out and drink, because obviously it's not good for me, so I have to wake up early, and I've got a tight schedule, I've got to be disciplined. I suppose it's a bit more strict. When I'm running, I don't really think about anything, I just like zone out, and then next minute the race, the race is finished, and I'm come first, or second or whatever, but then I come last. You can do whatever you want, whatever you want, if you put your mind to it. If you've got a dream, then just go for it and make that dream a reality, basically, because it can happen.